Hi everyone, <clears throat> it's Saturday um, 22nd of August 2020, um, just having a breather, it's lunchtime, um, this is the polytump at the moment, um, I hope you enjoyed that little um, bit of fun before this, um, as you can see I'm trying out my new software and that, but uh, I hope you enjoyed, it's only a bit of a laugh. But I've done a lot of picking, as you could see. And there's uh, loads of cucumbers starting there. The cucumbers have been a bit slow. The gherkins have been absolutely ridiculous. But these cucumbers are lovely. I don't like them too big. So that's the ideal size for me because, obviously, on my own, if I get a massive cucumber, it goes off in the fridge anyway. So those type of cucumbers are great. I think Terry says it's like lunch, his lunchbox um, cucumbers. I'll have to get my lunchbox out, show my lunchbox one of the days, but uh, that's another another channel. Um, laugh, laugh. Um, yeah, so um, I'm going to quickly do a show of outside. Um, there's a catch up. Chilies are doing okay. I've, I've got some chilies actually. Um, what he picked. Um, but these. Um, are doing great. Peppers and that on the other end are doing great. Let's just quickly nip outside. Cause it pans are just being silly again. Another one ready to harvest. Broccoli, first ever broccoli that I've grown. Small tomatoes. I've left them out here because it's been raining. Gives it a good clean. Courgettes, uh, and then the squashes. What's that type of squash, guys? I haven't got a clue. I don't know what I've grown, but I've got some really weird, weird ones because they went to all be butternut squashes uh, like that. But as you can see, there's a nice little trio. Little butternut squashes, not too big. Uh, but there's probably loads more inside in there. Some more going on the outside here. I've just been weeding this. Uh, that's Redishio. Those are kohlrabis, which are coming up nicely. Uh, that was the broccoli, so I've got a few more left. That's the kale. This one's come out again. Rhubarb, I don't know where to pick some more. I'll just let it die down. It's a bit, uh, bit of a mess. And dive, that's and dive there. Never no, grown it before. Got some beetroot there, beetroot here. Some red lola rocks are still growing. <coughs> Fennel, never grown it before in my life. Uh, that was some lettuce that's gone, it's died now, so I've got to clean all that up. That was some more beetroots, that's the spring onions. Those are weedy kisses. These are some onions. And these are very large weedy kisses. And we have got carrots. <sighs> I've actually done a load of carrots today, this morning. I'm cleaning them all up. First ever carrots I've grown. I know it sounds daft, but some of these things I've never grown before or have attempted to grow. Ah, Earth the tops up. But yeah, so I'm going to leave those to go further. Lavender. In there are chives. But they've been overridden, not overridden, they've been overrun by uh, the squash plants, but I'm just leaving it to do what it does. You can probably not see, I don't think you can see. There's another button of squash there, hiding. Uh, some more of these funny round thingies. Oh I mean, yeah, I mean, I haven't got a scooby do much variety they are. Fruit trees have survived the winds, although we're going to get some more today and tomorrow. Very, very windy today. This bed needs to have a good clean. This is the onion bed. 
some spare cabbage, uh, spare cabbage, spare cucumber plants. That's a nice cucumber. The gherkin, that one died. That one's living but not doing a lot, not flowering a lot. Here's my flowers off, just whacked it. These beds haven't been really used yet. Square foot gardening. Oh, and here's a good weed. I've re put these up, I had fallen down in the wind. Uh, red onions, I thought nothing of the growing. <coughs> and the shallots. Some more beetroot, turnips, weeds. Marigolds. These tomatoes, I've restaked a few of them up, but they, they fell over. Uh, this bed is empty, really, apart from the uh, shallots I put in light. So here's a, another good weed. Cucumber plants are the right side there, have done pretty poorly. Uh, uh, some more lettuce that I put in, which looked really, really bad. Uh, but it's perched up there. These are the beets, beet leaves, etc. So I'm still learning to cook with. Leeks are doing okay. Touch wood. Touch wood, I haven't got any nasties. But we'll wait and see. Web's wonderful. Lettuce. Some of this is ready to pick. And as William Coleman says, I'm taking the whole lot, I'm going to eat the whole lot and not take the leaves. These are the lettuce I'm laying to go to seed. These are going to seed. Some more lettuce. These are the Bellotti Dwarf beans. Uh, I'm leaving these so that I can actually take the beans out of there to use in stews and that. I'll put some more lettuce out here. <coughs> look, always look sad when you do this. Some more spring onions. The three rows of carrots there, not for sale. See what we, we get. Uh, just got to build the, the other bed there. And the, the wood that wooden bit there is warped, so that's why it's a little bit higher. I might have to put a stake in and try and screw it down, but I might just leave it. Uh, bean Alley is Bean Alley. Loads. These are the purple ones. They look beautiful on the plant. You cook them, they get green. Shame, really. They're doing great. Had a bit of black fly here. This, the fairy liquid has tended to work. It hasn't, hasn't spread, there's three plants. It hasn't spread onto the others. Uh, French beans, love French beans. So I need to pick these tomorrow. Runner beans, loads of them coming through now. So, pick some more of those. Loads and loads and loads. Tons and tons and tons now. That's rhubarb. There are some peas in this mess of jungle of weeds. Believe it or not. Well, there were. Here you go. Most of that's just weeds, and I don't know they're going to seed as well now. So, I've got so many eyes in the day. Courgette plants. What's this one here? Another one of these weird ones. What's that? I'm sure the seed company's cocked up the packaging. Packaging. Charge gone to seed. Got some more beetroot in there. And <coughs> I'm letting this one grow big like a marrow. It's still producing more as well. And here's my sweet corn. Three Sisters method. Which seems to always work for me. And I know I've got butternut squash here. Yeah. And I know I've got a bigger one here somewhere. Have to try and be careful. So I've got two mammoth ones there. That was a huge. Uh, I could delicately walk around there. It should be fun, guys. Any problem when you let it go sprawling? Oh. It's less work for me. <coughs> There's another one there. 
you can just about see. There you go. Really? So down here, there's some more courgettes that I find. This is my tomato alley. Uh, strings broke on there. I have to get that fixed. I did come and trim, but there's loads and loads I've been picking. Uh, you can see some more bean, uh, some more button squashes. And that's bean alley with sweet corn, butternut squash. And there's probably some huge courgettes in there because I'll get to them. Well, I can, but not holding the camera. Um, these are pumpkins here, but I think it's a bit too late really for them to come into anything. Uh, there's another good weed. As you can see, the butternut squash. I'll just let you trial. Um, do you guys cut the end of the growing tips off when they get to a certain length? I've never really done it, but uh, I know some people do. It's going up the tomato plants as well. But it's novel. And to be perfectly honest, they're not hurting one another as long as uh, they've still got some air. <coughs> the weed, because... the purple beans. They get so hot here because of uh, my next door neighbour's polytunnel. Um, hence why. There's some burn marks on here, believe it or not. It keeps them all nice and warm. They're looking all right. Uh, so, yeah, sweet. Uh, sunflower challenge -y thing thingy is finished, really, for me. There's uh, about 27 plants on here. 27 flower heads on the one, in, on the one plant, 22 on that. But, yeah. Uh, what was I going to show you? Oh yes, I didn't really show you the all the pepper plants that I've got. We tend to call them chilies over here, really. Uh, I notice that most people call them overseas. You call them just pepper plants, of which there are chili varieties which are hot normally or hotter, shall we say? Well, these are. Oh, this is, I can never pronounce the word, an, 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 an aim, aim, which apparently are nice, stuffed, they're not uh, hot. Uh, I've got bell peppers growing for the first time ever. I've never been able to grow, grow them, but I have this year. Uh, I've got jalapenos growing, loads of them. Uh, and that's it really, so I think it's time for a strong bow. So anyway guys, I'll catch up with you later. Bye.